I'm here with the Supreme Commander of V. How are you today, Richard? And also all the President's men for Warner Brothers. That was my first Warner Brothers picture. So you guys go way back. Oh, go way back. Uh, but so over 60 years in the business. I didn't do the silent films, though. I, I missed this. You're too loud for it. You're like, I need to talk here, people. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going silent here. You're not going to go silent. You'll never go silent. Right now, I'm doing Off Their Rockers, the Betty White show. We just covered Betty White's Off the Rockers. Yeah, the other day. You weren't there, though. No, I was there on Tuesday. I I, you know why? I passed you. You had your back turned, and you were talking to, uh, Ka oh, what's his name? The guy that was on that love boat. Bernie? Bernie, you were talking to Bernie. Bernie Capel. Bernie Capel. Oh my God, I had my back towards this so, guy. Well, see, I, now we caught up to each other. It was meant to be. Yeah, this was meant to be. You see? And I'm looking forward to seeing all that wardrobe in there and so forth. Oh, it's and then, I, and then I did another Warner's thing. What was that? T.J. Hooker. Yeah. And I did V and a couple of Clint Eastwood films. And I was working with Clint Eastwood. That's actually one of my questions for you. Oh, he's a wonderful guy. My wife did a couple of pictures for him. Too. I love working for Clint Eastwood because he has the best food on the uh, of any movie you do. What does he have? And he's the nicest guy. And whatever you want, it's all there. Everything. And nobody, you, hear, you don't hear any loud voices on the set. Very easy to work with. And he's very loyal. Very loyal guy. You know, he's had a lot of his people with him. Well, he, I'll tell you a story. There was a guy he went to high school with who became a dentist and he retired. And now he's uh, working with Clint as an assistant director. Oh my God, All look at this guy. <laughs> From dentist to the lot. But he had his whole career. And he, they ran into each other one day and said, what are you doing? He said, I he said well, you, come on, come on. So he started at the bottom and loves it. He got him out of the house. You know, that's what it's all about. It is. That's what it's all about. You gotta get out of the house, man. So, what do you get out of the house for? When you go out, what are you doing on the weekends? Uh, what I do on the weekend, I go to, I go to, uh, I, uh, I was at the Art Students League for a while. I paint, I sculpt, I, I weld a bit. So I still go to class every Saturday. You're a real handyman. And my, uh, my, a lot of my time is devoted to, to painting and uh, writing a bit. I've, I've had a couple of my plays done in New York. Uh, I've had a play done at the Abbey Theater in Dublin, Ireland. So when I'm not doing this, I have plenty to do. I play in the sandbox. I, I l Richard, you're, I'm going to brush the dirt off your shoulder. And you're you, such a busy guy. You do the same thing. Play in the sandbox? Play in the sandbox. I always play in sandboxes. Yeah, but you're young now. You, you haven't got time for that. My mom always gets me in trouble because she says I bring sand into the house. And whatever buck you make, put 10% aside for the old man. Look out for your future. Richard Hurd, we're watching SL. TV, and you watch it too.